Good day to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. It's Monday, the beginning of the week. Start as you mean to go on. However, I say start, it's nearly coming to an end. It's half past six and I haven't even spoken to you once yet. I've been charging around like an absolute maniac all day. It started with a one-to-one client first thing this morning for about three hours, I think, just a bit, a bit less than that. Looking at strengths and weaknesses and really looking at identifying some core strengths, but also still looking for some of those uh, weaknesses. What's interesting? and it's always worth reflecting in your own life it's certainly the same for me as well which is some of my core strengths can actually also be my kryptonite they can also be my weaknesses and that's what we were discussing today Okay, so we just finished our live Facebook call with Ant. Uh, had a really good time, hour and 45 minutes worth. So that's what happens when we get two people who like to talk. That's me and him. I think I might have been the worst culprit as well. It's Tuesday morning. I'm gonna hang out here by the car for just a minute because the leaf blower guys are going crazy just over the way there. Uh, today's an exciting day. It's our discovery day for Masterminds. So we will be meeting some new Mastermind members. Okay, so we've just wrapped up our discovery day. It's awesome, the great people, as always, we really pride ourselves on creating an amazing environment. We then also pride ourselves on finding really good people, really nice people. And, uh, and then of course we have to praise these guys for being super nice and super cool and super generous uh, with their ideas. Um, interestingly, masterminds, if you've never been part of a mastermind, if you've never seen one that's really run well, um, it's surprising how quickly you can make them gel. And it's impressive also how quickly you can get ideas, new ideas, solve your problems, etc. cetera. And, um, and we do, we go all out here. We, we run live mastermind sessions. We don't hide anything. I wanna show them exactly the results they can get when they participate fully in a live uh, mastermind round and, and loads of value, loads of uh, really good actionable content coming out of that. One of the things that we talked about was goal setting. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, do you goal set? You probably don't. The reason being that most people don't goal set. If you do goal set, you probably don't do it properly. I'm not trying to insult you, it's just how it is. Very few people goal set. Of those that do, very few people do it properly. And of those that do it properly, very few of those do it consistently. Goal setting works when you consistently do it over time. This week, this month, this year, next year, five years, etc. That's when it really, really pays off. It's a skill that you can learn. Not everyone finds it easy up front. Um, for many people, they have to find their feet with it. They get better and better at setting the right goals for them. The right goals are aspirational enough that they excite you and motivate you and make you get up early in the morning, but they're not so big that they terrify you to the point where you wanna hide under the duvet, or they're so impossible to achieve you don't even bother trying to take action because what's the point? You're never gonna achieve them anyway. There's a sweet spot there. Up bright and breezy this morning after, I have to confess, a little bit of a late night last night, burning it a little bit at both ends. Tracy was in bed about nine o'clock. Um, that bad. <laughs> but she was up about six o'clock this morning. Anyway, we are off to see a potential mastermind candidate. Um, couldn't make the day we had yesterday that you would have watched. Um, so we're super excited to meet her and share with her exactly what we do and how we can help her fast track her successful business. Okay, so just got back home. I am about to have a juice number two. I haven't shared this yet with you, but I am currently on a juice cleanse. I like to do these from time to time. It's been a little bit overdue. Last one I did was probably late spring time. I like to do one at least once a quarter. Um, I'm currently doing 10 days. I'm on day three of 10 days of these. All I get is four of these a day. 
I get a little sachet every day of uh, like a little shot, maybe ginger shot, celery shot, something like that, beetroot shot. Um, and if you're starving to death, you get a pure crushed vegetable bar. Actually, they taste a lot better than you think. Um, so that's it, that's what I'm eating, that's all I'm consuming. Maybe a bit of herbal tea along the way. I have a little herbal coffee, which I have. Um, and that is it for 10 days. Resets my brain, resets my body, um, wakes up, I sleep better on it. I just reset any cravings you might have, any bad habits that picked up over the summer in terms of uh, eating too many processed carbs and sugars and all that lot. Just a really big reset in every level. Okay, so Tracy's in the house. Just Tracy at the moment. Don't panic. It's not only going to be about Tracy, uh, little me. Um, it's not just about Tracy. We've got them coming. We're just here a bit earlier. Normally, people are already here early, so I don't get a chance to show you the room much. But what a stunning venue. Everyone who comes here comments on it, and it makes up for my lack of smartness in myself. I let the room do the talking for me. Okay, so an awesome session, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I completely and utterly indulge myself in the content today. Um, it's at the core philosophy of everything we stand for at BBB, um, and it sits behind everything that we do in terms of behavior, taking action, and ultimately getting the results that we want out of life. Behind me there, you'll see some gobbledygook. I wanna share with you this model here really quickly. It's the aeroplane. And what I talk about is these internal forces that drive us, but also these external forces that drive us, and maybe some hold us back. Anyway, we have a whole busy day. I'll share lots of stuff with you as we go along. The first thing I wanna share with you is a little parcel that I was recently sent. I say recently, it came through this morning, but they sent it recently. And it's a little parcel I get from a friend of mine, Rachel, every year, and it's a package of conquerors. She's got two boys, they go out conquering. They have some conquer trees right near them and uh, I get all past the conquers every uh, year. If you share a similar affliction to me, you know exactly what that parcel of Conkers is all about. And no, it's not for me to go and play Conkers. It's Friday morning. Now, typically, when I say to you, first thing this morning, I do this, or first thing, we are going to go on to that. I don't normally mean first thing. What I normally mean is my first thing, which typically doesn't kick in till about nine o'clock, half past nine. However, today, when I say the first thing we're doing is heading up to Oxford to speak at a networking event, I really do mean first thing. It is still dark outside. We woke up before the sun, we woke up before the birds. I'm still waking up. We're still in the process of waking up. <laughs> We're heading up to uh, Oxford. I'm going to be talking about making the leap. In other words, why don't we just fully commit to our big dreams, our big goals, our big objectives in life and in business. I'll share some stuff with you as we go through with it. Have an awesome day. It's Friday. So make sure you finish with a big bang. Make sure you finish so that you know that you've done all you can do this week in order to move you, your life, your business, and your goals forward. I'll check in with you in just a a little bit. So it's 10 to 8, just got here and uh, it's already starting to get busy. It doesn't even start till 8 o'clock, so it bodes really well. I'm expecting some good things. Lovely view out the back window there. And I thought I'd just drop you a quick key message here about networking. And I am a massive fan of networking. Now here's the thing, I personally don't find networking that comfortable, okay? So here's the thing for you to understand. I know a lot of people find it an uncomfortable experience to go out networking, however, Networking got our business to over 150K on its own. No other marketing activity, nothing. Without the referral schemes, referral incentives, or anything else that we might do now, literally 150K plus um, from networking alone. And my message to you is really simple. If you're a small business owner, I genuinely believe that you can get your business to over 100 grand just from networking alone. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, so we made it in record time, quarter past five. I'll take that all day long. Um, I am done. Started at six o'clock this morning. It's now quarter past five. Apart from a few little bits of snagging, which I do just to catch up on. Obviously, I'll catch up on things like social media, email as well before I literally clock off. Um, but as far as you and I are concerned, I'm going to call it a day. Hope you've had an awesome day. If you're continuing to work through the evening because you're an entrepreneur and not going out and getting drunk like everyone else, good on ya. I wholeheartedly salute you. Um, if you're working this weekend, make it productive. Make sure you keep working towards your goals. If you're taking it off, spending time with family, hope you have a bloody awesome weekend. We will pick it all up on Monday. On Sunday, I've got a talk actually, interestingly. So uh, I'll shoot some stuff over the weekend just because I'm doing an event on Sunday morning and uh, I'll slot that in on that Monday's Daily G. Have an awesome one. Have a good one. Until then, as always, be successful.